the South American country, Ecuador, has declared a state of emergency in seven of its 24 provinces. Now, this announcement was made by Ecuadorian President Daniel Naboa on Wednesday. This comes amid surge in gang violence and government's ongoing war on drug gangs. The states of Gaya, El Oro, Santa Elena, Manabi, Sucumbios, Orellana and Los Rios provinces are, as well as one area of the Azoe province, have seen a recent increase in violence, according to a decree signed by Naboa. Naboa in January declared that Ecuador was at war and also declared 22 criminal gangs as terrorist groups. The measure will allow for the deployment of soldiers in the street for a period of 60 days in the provinces that have been mentioned earlier. As per the decree, security forces will be able to enter homes and intercept correspondence in the targeted provinces without prior authorization. To win in this second stage of the war, we need the military to be allowed to act. Let the criminals and terrorists who take refuge and mock the forces of order and justice in their right to the inviolability of the home know that they are going to lose it. As gangsters set off, car bombs kidnapped police and murdered several people in response to Naboa's promised crackdown. The president declared the country to be in a state of internal armed conflict and ordered the army to neutralize the 22 groups. The government says violent deaths fell 28% in the first months of the year, compared with the same period in 2023, though it recognized that other crimes like kidnappings and extortion did rise.